Hey you guys, welcome back. <laughs> it's another Amaryllis update. Uh, they come fast and furious when these Amaryllis really start growing, as you know. They, uh, well, I, I assume you know because uh, they're a very popular plant and many people have grown them. And if you haven't grown them, please give them a try. They're pretty, pretty fun. They, uh, they grow really quickly, uh, especially when the bloom spikes start. They, uh, they just take off in about uh, six to eight weeks from like a dormant bulb that's just showing signs of showing uh, a bud. You, uh, you get the flower. Six to eight weeks. That's pretty crazy. So usually in a day you'll get like an inch or two of growth on the, on the, the, the spike each day. And then it takes a little bit of time for the bud development and stuff. But anyway, enough about that. Look at these beautiful amaryllis. This is the Barbados. This one, excuse me, this one here seems to be my favorite at the moment. Uh, it's got such a deep, deep flower. Uh, I really wanted to show you guys. This is the first spike that's opening up. So in a couple of days, the, uh, the second spike, I don't want to play around too much, uh, is going to, uh, to start opening. I hope that the second spike opens just as this one's fading, so that it's not going to be a big mess. Because right now it's perfect. It's, it's, uh, it's so beautiful. Uh, the flowers aren't crushed together. Each one has its own spot. Uh, no matter how you look at this, you kind of see the same thing as I spin this around really beautiful. Uh, I love how deep it is, the, the really deep, vibrant color, kind of velvety. Um, this one here, I was excited to have bloom, but now that it's blooming, I'm a little less excited about it. This is the typical red. You can kind of tell this is uh, the typical red in the amaryllis. And then there's this one, which is fantastic. And then here's another... This is the red garden that's just now starting to bloom. I'll post photos of it later on as it opens up 100%. Um, but as you can see, this red color, uh, this in photos looks nice and red, but in comparison, huge difference. This is an absolute stunning color. Uh, this, I think, is my favorite color when it comes to amaryllis. Uh, Black Pearl is very similar to this, and there's other varieties around there. So look at this. One, two, three, four, five flower spikes. That's amazing. That's amazing. Hope next year I'm able to uh, reproduce that. But like I said, I'm going to be growing them in the in the vegetable garden, the community garden plot, and uh, hopefully that will nourish them enough to flower like crazy next year. So anyway, I wanted to show you these two. This is Samba. Like I said, I'm a little I'm a little underwhelmed. I'll show you the the photo of it down below here. And uh, again, I was expecting something different. Um, it's still beautiful. I was expecting a little bit of ruffle, uh, not as much ruffling as what's going on here, and I'm finding that the, the colors are a little bit muddled in comparison to what the photo showed. But you can't be 100% to the photo, I'm just a little bit let down. I still think it's beautiful, I think it's unique, but uh, this is my favorite. <laughs> so versus Barbados and Samba, I would buy Barbados uh, over this one. However, this is cool. I don't know that it's uh, it's my fave. Um, I should be putting some sticks in here to hold up the, the flower spike. I'm noticing since the bulbs really haven't started to root yet, they're getting a little bit shaky in the pot. Uh, so if I was to stake this and just tie it with a string or a piece of ribbon or something, uh, it would save the, the bulb from, uh, from moving around in the pot. So anyway, enough talking about these beautiful specimens. Uh, I have move these off to the side. I have this beautiful uh, evergreen amaryllis that uh, we need to plant. And I said that we were going to plant it uh, last video, but it's still here. Uh, it has been uh, at least a week. I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, it's grown quite, quite well. And it's been in its paper bag. It's just been sitting by my stairs. <laughs> so neglectful. I'm so bad. So I bought this beautiful pot. I bought several sizes of these pots. Um, these were originally $2.99, but they were 70% off. So I think I probably paid 50 or 60 cents for this pot. Absolutely love it. It's like a natural clay. And uh, the only downside is there's no drainage. So in any pot that doesn't have any drainage, usually I would, I would drill a hole in the bottom, but I really wanted to get that planted. So I know that 
in the springtime, I'm going to uproot it anyway and plot it, uh, plop it right in the ground. So just for, for the meantime, I'm going to uh, just water with care. I'm going to make sure that it's not uh, drowning in water. So anyway, I'll bring you in a little bit closer. We'll make this little decorative pot. And uh, yeah, uh, come on in. Okay, so we've got the pot. I've pre-moistened the soil. As I've said before, amaryllis you don't want to have planted in, in uh, wet soil, especially when, as you can see, the flower's developing. There's no root development yet. You want to wait until there's root development before you start really watering. This bulb here uh, looks like it had a little bit of an issue uh, last year with a little bit of rot. Um, but uh, fingers crossed that it does well. It's flowering. It's, it's ready to go. So anyway, again, pre-moisten the soil. I'm going to do a little bit of, and this is just an all-purpose soil. Actually, I think this is a, a type of a moisture retentive one, which I don't recommend for amaryllis uh, in this stage. But I amended it with uh, lots of perlite. I know it doesn't look like that in here, but it's pre-moistened. I see all the perlite in there. This will uh, take away some of the, uh, the moisture. It'll, it'll allow it to drain more freely. Um, again, there's no uh, drainage in this pot, so we've got to be very, very careful with that sort of thing. So I'm just going to make a little uh, divot in the center of the pot. And then I'm just going to, uh, to rest it in there, just in the center. <laughs> as easy as that. Don't worry about the stem. It is, uh, it's curving a little bit, but uh, just face it so that the window is over here, and it will straighten itself right out. And then you'll want to do like a quarter turn uh, every, uh, every day or two. You'll notice that amaryllis uh, really like to, uh, to grow quickly, and they really stretch towards the sun. So another thing that I'm going to do to embellish this planter, I saw this at the garden center and I absolutely loved it, and then I saw that the planters, that the, the pots that they were using were on sale, so I had to do it. I'm just going to take a little bit of moss, and I'm going to rest it around the bulb here. I'm not going to pack it in really, really tight. Moss can uh, really hold on to moisture, and you've got to be careful. Again when this uh, bulb is dormant you got to be very careful with that sort of stuff so now we've got that really really beautiful look of, uh, of the moss let me get a little bit closer and uh, it's just very decorative uh, so if you have a, a side table or a coffee table or even a bookshelf that's near a window uh, you can have this on there it look beautiful anyway thanks for joining me hopefully you enjoyed this update and a little bit of a decorative planting uh, if you have a little bit of sticks to go in here, um, that now would be the time to do it. Actually, I have a label, Amaryllis Evergreen. should put that in there. Uh, you never know when you'll forget things. Actually, it doesn't look very nice in there. Maybe just keep it underneath the pot. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for joining me. Happy growing, everyone. Uh, I quite like them. They're very small, so it's hard to... Uh, it's not a big show, but uh, they're definitely worth it. Um, and as you can see, the Ludicia 